Hi everyone and welcome to the kitchen. I'm Chef Brian cooking fresh with Green Giant. Today I'm going to show you how to do a great twist on an all-time classic, the pizza, using a Klondike Gourmet potato. So let's get started. Pizza is one of those all-time American favorite dishes. We all have it at least once a month, but I'm going to show you how to do it with a twist. Now I'm going to be putting mashed potatoes into the crust, but the crust is also going to be gluten-free. So that means we're not going to be using any flour in it, and I'll show you how to put it together. The potato that I'm using here actually are the Klondike Gourmet potatoes. There are several varieties of these particular potatoes, six to be exact, from purple to red to gold, of which I'm actually using today. Now these have been pre-boiled and all we're going to do is just smash them. I'm leaving the skin on because it's a very thin skin and it just works really nice into the dough. Now that's plenty good there. Just clean off our masher and we'll set that aside. Now to the mashed potatoes here, we're actually going to add a little bit of rice flour. Now rice flour is very common. Most grocery stores carry it so you shouldn't have a problem finding it. So we're going to add that right into there. Also I'm just going to add some everyday cornstarch to this. About two tablespoons worth. This is also going to help our mixture when it cooks pull together. Finally we're going to put some eggs in there. This is our final binding agent. And remember, when you crack eggs, you always want to crack them on a flat surface because you don't want to push any shells up into there. That's where the potential risk of salmonella food poisoning comes from. Now you can stick your hand in there if you want to. At this point, you're going to salt and pepper it to your own taste. So there's a little bit of salt. We'll throw a little bit of pepper in there. Also to this, just to spice it up a little bit more, Let's be creative here. Let's put some herbs in there. Now I'm going to put into there a little bit of basil. Just some dried basil. And of course, some oregano. How can you have pizza without oregano? All right, just mix that all together. I'm going to now just finish it off here with my hand. Now, don't be alarmed. This is not going to be the same type of dough consistency as a regular crust that's made with flour. This is going to be very soft. And what you're going to actually do is we're going to press this into our pizza form. Now, that's come together nicely. So what we're just simply going to do is press that right into our pizza pan. Now on the pizza pan, what I have done is prepared it. I've sprayed it with a little bit of vegetable spray. I have a parchment paper down there and I've sprayed the parchment paper as well because I don't want it to stick to the pizza pan. So let's just move some of this stuff and get ready to build our pizza here. So we're just going to take about oh, three quarters of that amount and you can make it as thin or as thick as you want to. We're just going to press that right into there. If it gets a little too sticky for your hand, just give it a spray with some vegetable spray and that'll help to remedy that. All right, that is perfect right in there. Smells actually really yummy. So what I'm going to do at this point now, build it just like you would a regular pizza. I just have a prepared red sauce here. You can use your favorite. If you have a favorite recipe that you like, you can simply use that. Now if you want this to be completely gluten-free, be sure whatever red sauce you do choose doesn't have flour in it. Just spread that around nicely like that. You could also use an Alfredo sauce. If you're not a red sauce fan, that would be delicious on here. Take some shredded mozzarella cheese. Just spread that evenly around. Now at this point, all you're going to do is build it to your liking. Now I happen to like pepperoni, so that's what I'm going to use today. So let's just start putting our pepperoni on there. A 
Okay, and I'm just finishing up the pepperoni there. Now next, I'm going to add the tomatoes. What you want to do when you build a pizza is you want to add your flat ingredients first and then add anything else like, oh, say mushrooms or olives or something like that that may have a little different cut to them. Just finish putting those all around there. And you can really use as many or as little as you want. On top of that, I'm going to put some sliced button mushrooms. You could use any kind of mushrooms. You could use porcini, portobello, any kind that you like. And this is kind of where I differ from a lot of different pizzas. I like to put cheese on top of it. I mean, if the pizza doesn't have a lot of cheese, what good is it? There we go. Be sure to get it all the way to the edges there. You can't have an edge without some cheese on it. Now this is going to go into a hot oven at least 400 degrees for probably about 20 minutes until all that cheese is golden brown. Okay, now that that's in the oven, we've got about 20 minutes, so I'm going to get the kitchen cleaned up here. When we come back, we'll have some delicious pizza. Well, it's been about 20 minutes and our pizza is now ready to come out of the oven. Now be careful when you open up the oven door because there's going to be a lot of steam from the vegetables that you've used on the pizza. And that looks and smells delicious. Here is an American tradition with a twist, the Klondike Gourmet Potato Crust. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me. I'm Chef Brian, cooking fresh with Green Giant. I'll see you next time.